This is my homemade egg noodles. Hey guys, gagawa po ako ngayon ng homemade noodles made by scratch. Okay guys, let's start. This is my stuff to make my homemade noodles. I have two eggs here. I have olive oil, salt, flour, and water. We need to beat the two eggs and we need to measure the flour. Now I have to measure the flour. I need one cup and three four to make my homemade noodles. And I'm going to sift the flour so that the solid particle it won't be in my dough. Para po yung dough ko maging maging soft siya and fine. Hindi po dapat natin isama yung mga buo buo na harina. And now I need to add one teaspoon salt into my flour. We need to mix the flour and salt and make well in the middle. Mix the two tablespoon water into the egg. We need one teaspoon olive oil, mix it together with egg.
And now we need to pour the egg mixture in the flour and we have to mix it. When the egg and the um, flour are mixed together, it's ready to make a dough. First thing we have to do before making our dough is to pour some dry flour on the top of the counter so the dough won't stick. The way I'm doing it, I will spread all the flour on the top of the counter and start to make my dough. Kasi guys, didikit po siya kapag kulang po yung flour sa table or sa counter. Didikit po yung dough natin. And now, I start kneading. And while kneading, I always um, take some dry flour from the counter so that my hand won't stick in my dough every time I knead. We can knead the dough for at least 10 minutes. If you feel like it's so soft and floppy, but just like not really dry, like a chewing gum, then you should know that it's ready. I also put some flour in my rolling pin so that it won't stick in my dough. Para po hindi po siya dumikit pag imamasa ko na po siya. 
Dapat lagyan din natin ng flower yung rolling, rolling pin natin. Then I'm going to rub some olive oil in my dough and 30 minutes raising time. At least 30 minutes raising time. Kasi magpa-puff pa yan siya guys. Magre-raising time tayo ng at least 30 minutes. And then we have to cover it para po ano siya, mag lalaki pa siya. Lalaki magra-rice siya. So here na guys, 30 minutes rising is finished. So I need to start kneading using my rolling pin now. While kneading guys, we need to flatten the dough so the noodles will be like thinner. Kasi mag-expand pa yan siya guys pag niluto na natin yung noodles natin mag-expand pa siya. The reason why we need to flatten it like very thin, very thin para po hindi siya masyadong malalaki pag naluto na natin. If we felt like the dough is too wide, we can fold it in half, but we make sure that put a dry flour in the middle so they won't stick together. And every fold we make, guys, um, we need to add flour in the middle so they won't stick together. Kasi mag-stick sila kapag ano, wala siyang dry flour. The secret of having a nice noodles, guys, if you knead it properly, nicely. Kasi kahit, kahit ilang beses mo siyang inid, kung hindi naman properly, pangit yung outcome ng noodles, guys. Okay, this is my final knead. And I think it's ready for me to make it noodles. I'm going to put... Um, dry flour in the middle and I'm going to fold in half and then guys madali lang siya guys iro-roll lang natin siya na parang bread we just roll it roll it so nicely yeah 
i-roll lang natin siya. And then after rolling, we just have to cut it. Okay guys, here is my dough now. I already rolled and I'm going to cut it. First, I'm going to cut in the middle and next, I'm going to cut into small pieces to make it look like a noodles. It's up to you guys if you want thicker or thinner. But for me, I want uh, thinner because if I'm going to cook, it won't it won't be like a snake like it's so wide kasi guys pag niluto na natin to mag expand pa siya kahit papano kaya I will try my best to make it skinny para kahit mag expand siya hindi magiging malaki yung noodles ko Ayan guys, I finished cut. Para lang siyang bread, di ba? Looks like a bread. And now I'm going to make it looks like noodles. Okay, here's my noodles now. We just need to unfold. And now, looks like a noodles. Ganyan lang siya guys. Mabilis lang siya. Mahirap lang magmasa. Yan siya. Ang haba ng noodles ko guys. And my noodles is very long. Because I make it like that. But I cut it a little bit skinnier. Guys, here's my noodles, my homemade noodles a la cherry. Tapos na siya, guys. It's finished. We need to pour some dry flour so they won't stick together. Lagi po natin lagyan ng flour after para po hindi po sila magdikit-dikit kasi yun po yung magpapahiwalay sa kanila yung flour.
And now guys, I'm going to put in the cloth. So I'm going to give 10 to 15 minutes to dry. So here's my noodles now. I arrange them and let's sit for 10 to 15 minutes then I'm going to cook it for dinner. I will make stir fry noodles for dinner. Homemade noodles a la cherry. Now that I've finished my homemade noodles from scratch, then I'm going to make a pancit for dinner. This is my recipe. I have bell pepper, carrot, onion, ginger, wombok, green beans. I'm going to put some pork and here's my homemade noodles a la cherry. And I'm going to add some boiled hard egg, four pieces. And here's my seasoning to use. I have onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, liquid coconut, all my favorite. I will put um, broth cubes. I have oyster sauce, soy sauce, and salt. So let's start cooking. I'm going to turn on my stove now. And I'm going to saute my garlic and onion. Of course, using my favorite coconut oil. So I'm going to saute my garlic now and wait until it's golden brown and I'm going to saute also my onion and when it's ready we are going to saute the pork The garlic and onion is ready, so I'm going to saute the pork. I'm going to add pork until it's ready. And after that, we're going to put all our veggies. Now I'll start putting my seasonings so the meat will absorb the taste.
The pork is ready guys and now I'm going to add my veggies. So my veggies are all here, the wumbo, carrot, bell pepper. And when it's ready, I'm going to set aside because I need to boil my homemade noodles. I will add little bit soy sauce and I'm going to add little bit oyster sauce for additional taste. And now here's my boiling water for my noodles. We cannot cook the noodles directly guys, we have to boil it first. And now the water is boiling, so I'm going to put the noodles one by one. One by one lang siya guys, para hindi po siya magdikit-dikit. Kasi pag nilagay nyo pong dikit-dikit yan, dikit-dikit rin sila sa ilalim ng kumukulong tubig. The reason why we put one by one because we don't want the noodles stick together. We need to boil the noodles at least 10 to 15 minutes or until the noodles is soft and ready. While I'm waiting for the noodles to finish, I'm going to peel the eggs and cut. So I think this is ready, so I'm going to put in the strainer to drain the water. So guys, this is the time to add the noodles.
and in like 10 minutes it will be ready Now my noodles is ready to serve. It's so nice, guys. Ang lambot-lambot ng aking homemade noodles. This is my yummy homemade noodles by scratch. I'm going to put the egg as a toppings. So this is my egg noodles a la cherry made by scratch. Super yummy yummy. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy my cooking. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So every time I, up, I have uploaded a video, you will be notified. Thank you. This is my homemade egg noodles.